Welcome back to learning about Scratch. And this lesson is on using the broadcast block. Um, broadcast block can be found in the events section. And I believe it's one of the more important blocks. Um, there are three parts to the broadcast block. Well, really two parts. Um, you have the ren I receive. Now, this one is worthless without the actual broadcast. So you need to use one of these two to actually broadcast a message. Now, it doesn't really send a message. It's more of a signal. Um, this one will send that signal from here to one of these. And it will basically say, OK, let's start running. Um, this one will do the same. But this one you can use in the middle of a, a bunch of lines of code. And it will wait until this has been all done before it will continue the code that's after it. Um, I don't use this one nearly as much, but sometimes it would be appropriate. So here's how we're going to make this work here. Jamie is going to start off by talking. And this is really good as far as if you want to have different characters communicating with each other, different uh, um, sprites, we can use a broadcast block. I've seen people use like wait blocks, but it gets a little clunky, a little difficult. You have to time things just right. This is much easier, more slick. So Jamie says this, and then we're going to use a broadcast block. So it's going to broadcast message one. Now, you could use message one, but I like to be more specific. So I'm going to change that to new message. And I'm going to have old D talk then. And I'm going to call this D talk. Um, basically, just a variable name to save it as. So now I'm going to go over to here to D. And this is where I'm going to link it, because I'm going to put in when I receive D talk. And you can choose others, but we don't have others yet. So when I receive D talk. Then D is going to talk, and he's going to say, I know about them. They're really handy. All right, then I want old Ad to talk here. So I'm going to use another uh, broadcast. So this one, I can't use D talk again, or this would get into a loop because it would keep doing this. If you want to redo things over and over again, broadcast can be also helpful for that. But we don't. So I'm going to do a new message. This one's going to be called Abby Talk. Be creative, I know. So I'm going to go over here to Abby. And I'm going to say, when I receive Abby Talk, Abby is going to talk. And that would be the look. She is going to say, Neato. Now, let's all jump together. OK, so not very exciting. But what we're going to do then is I'm going to show you that we can actually have multiple things happen with the broadcast. So I'm going to do another broadcast. And I'm going to get another new name. And we'll call this one Jump right there for Van Halen. Um, so broadcast jump. Now, I actually want her to jump like all the rest of them. So I'm going to say, when I receive jump, I'm going to have them jump. Now, I could use uh, glides, but I really can't because they're going to glide to different points. So for this, I'm going to use repeat blocks, um, repeat loop. So I'm going to have them repeat, and I'm going to have them uh, change y by 10. That way, they'll go up. And then I'm going to have it change y by negative 10, because that will make it go back down. Um, so you can basically see her. Ooh, isn't that great? Now, to have them all do it, um, I'm going to copy this code into the other ones. If you ha don't know, this is a great trick. If I want to copy this code into D, I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to let go. And I'm going to do the same thing with old Jamie there. So now if I go to Jamie, unfortunately, I copies it right on top, but I can move it. And there's D. So they all have that. So Jamie should talk first. Then it broadcasts, and D will talk. And then broadcasts, and Abby will talk. And then it broadcasts, and they will all jump at the same time because they all have the uh, jump broadcast. So ready, set, go. There he goes. And here he goes. And now her. And now we're ready. Woo! Very exciting. So that is good use for the broadcast blocks. I um, hope you learned something. There you go.